Welcome to Wellness Spring. Today, I am super, super excited to have a lovely friend with me as my guest, Yola Pipno Capranzano. And um, we met through our communal writing coach, Marav Tarka, about two years ago when I was writing my um, collaborative book called Lady X. And Marav suggests I reach out to Yola, who's a tech queen, to um, make my Amazon um, flyer, my little banner. And she did this most incredible job. And I'm so, so grateful to Marav for the inter introduction. And I've been following her ever since. And I'm sure once we get delve into this interview, you'll understand what an incredible, incredible soul she is. So welcome, Yola. It's so lovely to have you here on Wellness Spring. I couldn't be more delighted. Thank you so much, Beverly, for inviting me. I honestly have to tell you, I have clients in Australia. I had interviewed people from Australia, but I've never been a guest on a podcast. So welcome down under. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And I'm so excited to be the first one to interview you here. So without further ado, I'll just explain to the listeners a bit about your background and tell them your bio. So Yola is a certified high performance and positive intelligent coach, NLP and timeline therapy practitioner, a fitness, wellness and lifestyle coach. And she's also the founder of coaching journey with Yola LLC and a three times international best-selling author. She has a master's degree in scientific technical information from Silesian University of Poland and over 30 years of combined experience in working with thousands of very unique individuals and groups of people serving them in many different capacities. Um, I'm super excited to talk about your book and all the wonderful journey that you've been on. However, firstly, because on this show, I like people to get a feel for the person so, so they can get to know you better. Could you please explain about your background, about your parents and siblings, where you grew up, what your life was like, what education, just so we can have a little taste. Yes, absolutely. However, you know, I always wonder if people... Um... If people don't get bored about listening like, uh, you know, backgrounds and then bios and, and stuff and accolades, because truly people always want to know what's in it for me. Tell me, Yola, why are you here sitting and talking to me? So I, I'm going to introduce this in a way that will tell you that everything that ever happened in my life was a reason for it. Very important one, as a matter of fact, because it was paving the road to me sitting right here right now in front of you talking and it, it, it's actually very exciting for me to share about me even though you know they always tell you don't talk about yourself don't talk about yourself i thank you for this because honestly it's so rare that we get to share and and proudly announce to the world all our successes so i People say sometimes, and you mentioned Miraf, Miraf, my publisher, by the way, hi Miraf, if you listen to it, we both are very grateful for having you in our life because of you, we both became international best-selling authors. She calls my story a Cinderella story because I come from Poland. I grew up in Poland when Poland was in kind of depressed, depressed economically times. It was times where there was nothing on a store in, in the stores on the shelves. I ate oranges and bananas uh, just for Christmas. Blue American jeans was unattainable dream of mine that I couldn't possibly achieve. And I dreamed about traveling the world. This was my biggest dream. So I traveled on the map with my family hoping that one day I'll be in all these amazing places in the world. And what I did not know then is that this was a beginning of me starting my manifestation journey. And I mean, I'm not your typical manifesting um, guru, but I tell you this much, I manifested my entire life from beginning till the end. 
So when I started dreaming about travel, I knew that I need to help the destiny somehow. So I started learning languages. I speak fluently four, I, I can communicate in many more. And I knew if I know languages that will help me travel the world. So <laughs> when I, uh, you know, I call it, I grew up in a black and white Poland, but honestly, I think that helped me with my creativity, with my resilience, with, with seeing beauty in everything and appreciating every single thing. I can be like a kid in a kid candy store with the smallest thing through today. And people says, where did you get this joy from? I said, because I have so much appreciation and gratitude for everything that I achieved in life. And so, you know, my life is divided right now into two phases. My face in Poland, what you can say was black and white. However, it was this abundance of love and relationship F and all the goodness that I had with my family, surrounded by amazing parents, grandparents, sibling, my brother, and then it was just amazing, right? So I would never say that this was a wasted time. It was a very important time in my life. Now, fast forwarding to today, I live in a very abundant, colorful life of United States. I'm here um, almost 30 years and it's, it's, it's just incredible. This is my new home. I, I built my family here. I'm here, uh, you know, uh, creating my dream and basically realizing all those things that I once only thought about and, and just had these visions about. So, um, that's in a very, very quick overview. I uh, also would say that in between, I traveled the world, I found a way, I became first tour guide in Poland, and I visited until now close to 70 countries around the world. Australia is not on my map yet, but it's a big, big, big one, desire. And I know that once I'm there, I would love to see you in person. Um, and about five years ago, but maybe that will come as your next question, I had a, a breakthrough. I had a moment of awakening, moment of realization that even though on an outside, my life looked picture perfect, everything was just like some people dream about, you know, amazing family, great job as a manager in a huge corporation in Manhattan, uh, travels around the world, like I said, a beautiful home, friends, and I had a missing piece in my heart. And I didn't know what that piece was. That was the thing that was driving me crazy. What is it? What are you missing? Yola? What's wrong with you? And it was just a tremendous uh, uh, coincidence. It was through my personal um, fitness transformation that I got introduced to per high performance. And I realized from that that I wanted to serve people in capacities far beyond um, wellness and fitness. And when I realized that that was the missing piece the service, the creating legacy. And I started creating brand new dreams uh, that were going now parallel to my travel dreams. I just realized that I want to leave when I'm gone one day. I want to leave something meaningful for my family, for my children, so that they will be proud of me and not just thousands and thousands of travel pictures. So from that, that book was born from impossible to impossible, because like I said, <laughs> it's a Cinderella story. <laughs> Oh, that's incredible. You covered a lot of stuff there. And um, what did your parents actually do for a living? And what was school life like? Because people don't know. And this is why I like people to get a feel of the nitty gritty. They don't know if you struggled when you were growing up. Obviously, when we're children, our life is what it is. And we think everybody is the same and grow up the same. But what was it like growing up in Poland all those years ago? Yes, so imagine um, I had a brother two years younger and we were like this middle class. I can't tell that, you know, I um, was either very rich or very poor. I mean, I had everything I ever wanted. My mom worked in the office from like 7 a.m. till 3. My father worked, uh, actually, he had a position um, like a managerial position in another corporation. We lived in a city called Katowice, very uh, industrial, um, very polluted at that time, incredibly polluted because a lot of coal mines and steelworks and all kinds of uh, industrial uh, facilities. So the air was super polluted. Um, 
we had a dust in our apartments every single day we had to dust because it was just coming down so i didn't realize how bad the air was then um and my parents um did everything absolutely everything for me and my brother to uh ensure that we will have fabulous lives as much as possible but i often say this i think in case of my mom especially she gave everything to my to me and my brother i mean everything she left nothing for herself she she was selflessly working and i remember her coming and visiting me years later to united states and she was saying yola i don't think i lived my life i don't think i really i don't think i didn't see anything so i made this big pledge that i will show my mom the world and then when i was able to i used to take her on vacation around the world and just you know just show her this what she didn't have when she was basically giving 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 it to me and my brother but what i learned from this is and the lesson i share now with my clients is that it's absolutely amazing to give everything you got to your children but you have to leave something for self for yourself for your self-care for your for your hobbies for the things you love because when the children are gone then there's this big empty void so that's what 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 i would like to share and my dad a lesson that i learned from him is that absolute acceptance and total um whatever me and my brother chose as our uh, you know, a destination uh, uh, regarding schools, regarding activities, regarding anything. He was always having our back. And that was amazing thing as well, because you know that if you have that, you know, person in your corner that always is there for you, you can always count on that's just nothing better, nothing more powerful. And school, you know, uh, like I said, I didn't have these modern um, uh, luxuries in school like kids in western countries had we didn't have a lot of things but this wasn't really an issue um, I got my education I was top uh, top class uh, top of my class in the, you know almost every year but yeah, it was it was it was I look with a lot of sentiment at these years in Poland I was often looking at the streets I saw the black and white I saw the all shades of gray I was starving for the abundance of colors yeah, and I know personality wise, you're very colorful. There's no black and white with you because, um, like you say, manifesting, you've been doing it all your life. And that's another way of tapping into your intuition and using the power of imagination. And um, you spoke about appreciation and gratitude. And um, for me, gratitude is um, one of the most important things in our life, gratitude and forgiveness. And I know you think on the same wavelengths, but you've written a lot of that in your book. So your latest book that you just kindly showed us um, from I'm from impossible to I'm possible that came about so quickly. I believe it's a record. You made it in four days. Can you tell us about that? That's so exciting. And I absolutely love your opening style and your introduction to it. So obviously I did not write that book in four days, but the production, the actual publishing and it becoming a best-selling uh, piece on Amazon that happened within four days. So I, realized throughout the years that you know uh, English obviously is not my first language uh, I always felt like oh I don't I speak with an accent maybe people don't understand me I had all these limiting beliefs throughout the years and then you know when you do serious amount of personal development you start crushing these limiting beliefs one after another and you coming out of your shell and you're realizing that what's in your heart it matters that people will relate to the message you have regardless if it's you know uh, if it's with an accent or without accent and so from a person who had hard time even thinking about writing a post on facebook in english think about this big thing um writing a book so i just want to go back the couple of years but because in 2020 it was a total coincidence again I was writing in my a special journal. Um, it's like a, a journal of dreams, right? You you write these most audacious, crazy dreams that you would be even ashamed to share with other people because you would they'd be thinking you're some crazy nutcase, right? Thinking this big. 
but you write them every day like they already happened. And one of these things was, I want to be an international best-selling author of two books. And like, who would bring me books? But I wrote, I kept writing. And two years ago, I was invited to call to a collaboration um, a book, and I just had to write one chapter. And that was first in Polish for one person, and then and then I met Miraf and, and that book that we wrote together with 22 authors, book called One, Wellness Guide to Body, Mind and Soul, that book became an international bestseller and is actually permanent international bestseller on Amazon. And that got me thinking, wow, it's possible, right? It is absolutely possible. Then pandemic started in 2020. And Miraf came up with another idea. Let's write the book about our experiences, how we stay. So we would wrote book hashtag stay home. What happens inside when you cannot go outside? That book became an, a bestseller. I'm like, no, you know what? That's something really, really special happening here. So I start writing small pieces, like a little articles and little blog posts and whatnot. And they were all description of what I was going through, what was important for me, how I'm overcoming certain challenges, what I'm learning. What I would love to share with you, but it's very important for me that, 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 that the, the viewers know that I used to be this masculine energy tour de force. Let's go hustle, grind. I got this, you know, let's go, let's produce, let's make it. And this hyper high achiever. And a couple of years ago, I was introduced to this more delicate feminine energy of bliss flow and ease and realizing that you cannot outsmart you cannot outdo everything you have to let go sometimes and trust and 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 just you know go with the flow so sort and so when i realized that and i start learning about crystals and i learning about manifesting i'm like wow i manifested my whole life without knowing it so now that i know how to do it let's see what i can do with that so that book that collection of stories was everything i was learning that was working for me and so i was presenting on a conference in california last month and i said wouldn't it be nice if i had a book in my hand in may i had another book that i wrote this was run, run, written through a ghostwriter but it's it's a beautiful book as well as well how to create uh, raving fans who monetize and that book i had in a conference in california i said wouldn't it be wonderful to have another book in this conference so i said well i can actually publish this in like a 48 hour books or something and just hold it in my hand but my mentor mentioned maybe you should work on your cover i love this cover i really really love this cover this cover was um actually i took a picture in bali when i was on my coaching retreat with women in 2019 but so i called miraf i said miraf do you have a good designer and she goes of course i do i said well you know my my my, my mentor suggested that i should have this like very uh, intricate uh, cover, uh, cover design with one head coming out of another head, all these faces and whatnot. She goes, when do you need it? I'm like, next week. And she goes, well, the fastest I've ever produced the book was 10 days. But if you are game, I'm on it. And guess what? I said, yes, let's go. We didn't change the design. Design stayed the same. We reformatted it for Amazon. She had to do a few tweaks. I did the editing and we went with it. And oh my God, she broke her own record this book was on kindle i think under five days like I, I thought five she says four whatever it is guys it is like half a time it was the fastest launch ever and that book became an amazon bestseller as well in three categories stayed for six days so for a singular effort i thought it was freaking amazing i'm so happy oh, that's absolutely incredible absolutely incredible and um it's wonderful to know the story, you know, the power of manifesting and having that belief and just expecting it to happen. And with Marav behind you, you know, she knows anything is possible and it's all about our focus and determination and not letting any disempowering beliefs or um, programs get in the way. So when we step out of our own way, the magic happens and um it's great though you've been continually manifesting and um um do you want to tell us what it was like because obviously you started with learning those four languages so you had that great intuition that they were going to be needed someday 
um, you know, how difficult did people think you were crazy learning these languages or how did that come about? So back in Poland, um, growing up in elementary school, we had to mandatory learn Russian right at that time. And um, even though, you know, it was a foreign language, if you have to do something, it's not the same that if you choose to do something. Years later, I'm still fluent in it. I know many, many people around the world who speak the language. I have a few friends here in the US, so I can communicate easily in Russian. But I knew that if I want to travel places like United States, Australia, Africa, many places in Europe, English is the language. And uh, German was the second choice. I just simply wanted to learn so badly. And so I started with uh, with private lessons. I started uh, studying, um, uh, taking little classes with private tutors um, before I actually applied for, for college. And believe it or not, I originally wanted to study uh, English and German. Uh, but uh, again, universe delivered in a very different way. And I end up uh, going um, uh, with the different in a different direction. And because of that, I had the most incredible college experience. I got to uh, complete my master's within four and a half years um, and study not only English, German, but also Russian on a college college level. So I was extremely excited that, that again, something that I was planning didn't happen the way I wanted, but then it was actually better. And that's another thing that I learned in life. Sometimes when things don't go the way we want, we start, you know, pull our hair out, be upset. And in my current studies of positive intelligence and mental fitness, I help people to understand that in every challenge and obstacle, we always can find a given opportunity, gift and opportunity. And for me, there's just countless examples of that in life. Wow, that's incredible. Can you tell us about your current studies? That sounds interesting. Absolutely. So I call myself student of life. I call myself um, this, this person that is always curious and always wants to learn more. I'm so open to new experiences, to new um, modalities. Uh, when I started with high performance, I loved everything about it. I, will, I loved the fact that I can help people to go from where they are to the next levels of their clarity, energy, um, productivity, courage and influence. But that was just still the beginning. Um, then I started to be introduced to NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming and Timeline Therapy and realizing that all these scarcity mindsets that I was growing up with truly like everything is limited. There is no money. There is no this. There's, there, we don't have that. We don't have that. Never looking for the brighter picture and yet being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel and creating amazingness. You can crush a lot of limiting um, <clears throat> beliefs and negative like emotions. And then there were coming these phenomenal studies. Like I said, I studied with uh, Tony Robbins in his um, uh, Robbins Madonna's coaching school, strategic interventions. I did um, I did a couple of masterminds with Brendan Bouchard and then Eben Pagan. Actually, I'm in his mastermind for life. And recently I'm deeply, deeply involved with Joel Bauer, who I'm studying uh, public speaking and art of presentation with. I just went through a masterclass where I can now present online and offline. And my newest uh, thing is I create my own IP. I, uh, I am in the process of creating my own coaching program. It all started with my system, a 3D a system uh, of deliver, uh, discovering, defining, designing and dis uh, delivering purpose to the world. I realized that once we own purpose, once we know what we truly, truly want, we become unstoppable. We can actually go every day like these energizer bunnies, like there's this just that is the force behind because you have the purpose and passion that pushes you. And I can now um, share this message I'm so passionate about. And the message is this, live your life to the fullest every day before you run out of time. And if you want me to, I can just tell you in three words why I'm so passionate about it is because the five years ago breakthrough that I had that the day and when I'm gone, 
and there will be nothing behind. And I wanted to leave this powerful, meaningful legacy. I want that for everyone to live every day and enjoy life and feel life, feel the vibrancy, the zest, the power of every day. You know how you look out there and people are stuck on the phones, everybody heads down, everybody's looking on the phone. People are passing amazingness without knowing it. They live through something incredible. You ask them the next day and they already forgot. They live on TV, they live on, on social media, they don't live life. And I figured like if I could share this, that there's so much beauty, so much amazingness in life. Live it, enjoy it, thrive in it. And then at the end, have no regrets. Oh, have no regrets. Imagine that you look back and you say, you know what? I did everything I wanted. I lived my life to the fullest. So that's my message and I'm sticking to it. Oh, that's brilliant. And I know from reading your, your book, you start with like um, looking at pictures and doing your live events, but you also talk about regrets and you give lots of tips about it and um, i am um, on exactly the same wavelength as you with digital detox because as you know i channel and all my messages about the world is changing it's already changing and us as humans we're changing every second we're not the same person on an intercellular level as we were when we started this talk. So change is constant and we have to be open for it. And you mentioned the feminine energy, you know, now is the time to come from your heart space and stop using your head space. And, you know, it's people like us who are going to bring about the changes. And I know, Yola, you're so passionate and you're so dynamic and with even though we're saying technical detox technology is the way of the future so I know that you will make something absolutely outstanding so that people will be able to simply follow um, your instructions and do it and I think everything starts with choices and having the choice to want to change and like you had everything going for you. You had the perfect picture home and the high corporate job and beautiful family. Yet you had that emptiness. And I, you touched on emptiness when the children leave home as well. You know, because I think uh, a lot of people, parents, I recently went to talk with Silver Sirens, a group of dynamic ladies. And it's all about... Um, um sorry my alarm's going off um it's all about um how people cope when their children leave home because people forget the children are not for them they're born through them you know and we have to support them and on a spiritual level i believe we choose our um parents for the experiences we want in this life and I know that we, both you and I, could talk about these topics for hours. But in in a nutshell, um, would you like to say some of the tips in your book? Obviously, we'll leave the link for your book so people can read it. What messages would you give for people um, wanting to start a new career? Because as I mentioned with the two years of constant change and lockdown, many people have lost their jobs, their jobs as they knew it don't exist. And people have to reinvent themselves. And you've got two lovely children. What about the children? You know, what jobs are they going to do? What success tips? Because you are so super successful and you're able to inspire that hope in anyone and spark and ignite that flame to get them inspired. Thanks so much for this question. Oh my God, this opens a brand new like territory to talk about, right? So um, my mentor, Joel Bauer often says he has in his definition of success, it's not amount of money you make. It's not, you know, what you achieve in life. It's if your adult children want to spend time with you. And this was like a 
for me i'm like wow i am ultra successful my children love to spend time with me and my husband and they home and my son is uh, in his senior year in college my daughter graduated college and they love to be with us and we love spend time together and have good time and i think that if 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 what with us showing our children our passion our drive and uh, not being like this two face that says one thing and does other thing but like really show that we do what we love and no matter if there is um, obstacles and roadblocks we will still try to overcome them on our way to where we going to that bigger vision to the bigger picture we have in mind and I think that uh, I was able to 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 show my kids that I'm very passionate about my work and they're very proud of me. They say that. And if if I have something that 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 happens and I announce to them and they like, mom, good for you, happy for you. And and they share my work on social media and stuff like that. So that makes me really, really happy. Um, but going back to your to your question, how to sh how I share my message, I would kindly invite you. Um, uh, on Amazon, in the link that Beverly will give you, there is a version of, of Kindle for 99 cents. Honestly, I, I can give you all the message in you, but you can simply own this book for under a buck, right? Or you can buy a paper copy if you choose and then just go chapter by chapter and highlight things for yourself that you find uh, valuable. All I can say this, maybe not everything is there for you, but you'll find things that will help you and, and, and um, enrich your life. But what I also do is... I also, um, in this book, have a special place, and I show it to you right now. This book is like a gift that keeps on giving. I gift two things. First one is a gift page where you, just by having this book, you can access my gift page online, and there's some courses, and there's some um, master classes that I gifted to you, as well as opportunity to talk to me if you'd like to one day. And the second thing, I'm inviting you to an actual live presentation that's going to happen on December 28th. And it's going to be at 9 p.m. New York time. So I believe it's going to be the very next day, 11 a.m. Australia, right? It's 14 hours apart, right? We are? Yeah. 14 hours. Right. So Australia has also multiple time zones and so is Singapore and all these other places in Asia. I'm kind of like living in multiple uh, uh, time zones at the same time because I have clients from Hawaii, California, New York and then Europe. And then uh, so I have to always think who is where at what time. However, 28th of December and that code that I have in it, as a matter of fact, I could do something here right now and let you scan it. So you could actually scan this code if you want to, and that will bring you straight to my page, a registration for that workshop. So just scan it with your phone and it will take you straight to the registration page. Workshop is free, so much value. So instead of me now telling you all these things that you could potentially do, if you go and, and, and visit me and my workshop, I would totally, totally love it to be able to share my, um, my knowledge with you. Wow, that's amazing. As you were talking, I've um, scanned it in my phone and it goes, um, attention, don't miss the from impossible to impossible, etc. So people, it does work because I was going to ask Yola after the show to send me the link, which we'll do anyway. But just by watching this, you can scan it. So I'll make sure that this um, video is out in time for people to be able to attend your workshop. So, Thank you. Thank you. and I will also give you the access to the book so you can find it. But like I said, there is just, um, I have this one desire and I will repeat this quote. I learned from my mentors that, you know, we have, we quote other people. It's time now for us to quote ourselves. We all have the wisdom, the experience from our life. We have all these things that we went through, we learned. And if we can just share with others, people will benefit if it comes from heart, if it comes from within, right? So my books came from within me, my, my, um, my desire to share this deep, deep, deep passion that everyone can wake up spring out of bed without feeling dread without feeling this lack of energy and and we can always reach the next level regardless where you are you can be an ultra successful uh, ceo of the company you can be an amazing entrepreneur you can be um, a mom a housewife it doesn't matter there's always next level for everyone and if we could just know that 
whatever it is, if we just simply love our life and at the end have no regrets and feel engagement and joy and and just like I said, feeling for every single moment that my mission is complete. I want to share this with millions of people around the world. That's how passionate I'm about this. Oh, that's fantastic. And um, I just, I was going to ask you if there was one thing you could do to change the world, what would it be? I think I'm on the way. I'm actually in the midst of doing it. Uh, again, very intuitively, if you asked me to stand on stage, have a microphone in my hand, like even now, uh, you may not see it, but I actually have a microphone here that I'm using on of online. But the thing is, is that you cannot share your message if you are invisible. So by me studying how to present the message for the world that I have, message from within, how to uh, present from the heart without, you know, I don't have any notes. I don't have any script here. I'm talking from the heart from a person who honestly never presented on stage, never presented online. I think I came a long way and I'm giving myself a pat on the back. And that's another thing I'm teaching my clients for every small or big success that you ever have, for everything you achieve, for everything that you accomplish, celebrate the heck out of yourself celebrate every single moment because people have the tendency to achieve 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 and go immediately to the next thing and and forget what they and that's there is no no this feeling of accomplishment happening and i am thinking that because i give myself this feeling of gratitude for self for accomplishing these things and learning more and and being able if i can do this effectively through uh, different ways like uh, podcasts and online presentations as well as offline on stage I think it will catch the fire because I am told that people are attracted to the energy I give them that that energy of of just you know what you are possible everybody is possible just trust it you are good enough you're beautiful enough you have enough and if there is some troubles roadblocks if, if things don't work out your way, that's why you work with the coach. Coach would sometimes tell you and show you things you never even knew existed. Because when we have this tunnel vision, we only see in front of us and coach comes and coach kind of like looks from the side like, huh, I never thought about this. Thank you so much. And so I am just here to tell you that it is possible go from impossible to I am possible and I wish you all from the bottom of my heart that you become what your desires are you become what you make dreams are because that's what's life all about like go after these big things and never never feel that you know what I'm not good enough that's one thing don't think that you're not good enough you are perfectly good enough Oh, that's such a wonderful, heartfelt message. And the message is exactly the same as what you are giving parents to lead by example. And from you leading by example and coming from your heart, you're speaking the word of love. You're coming from that beautiful source of all that is the oneness because what you want for yourself, you want for everyone. And it's for everyone to be the best version of themselves. So I'm really grateful for you, Yola, for all you are and all you do. And I'm so grateful that you came on the show today in divine timing to share this wonderful message with the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, I couldn't be more grateful to you. And I know doing interviews myself with my guests, we know we said it. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful for, for you know, for you showing up. I am thank you, thanking you for inviting me because honestly, this is a part what you just asked about. How do you share your message through this sort of collaborations, international collaborations throughout, you know, writing these books and making uh, my travels around the world. I met thousands and thousands of people around the world and when you make these little moments of connections, even us, we didn't really work together. It was a total uh, in between a little conversation, a little a small a little call up in, in between writing books. And yet this happened. So I truly believe that 
everybody shows in our life for a reason and it's so amazing so i want to thank you very much for inviting me and i already would love to in, invite you to my uh, yola pc tv show uh, perhaps at the beginning of 2023 so we start strong with australia coming to new york new jersey this time wow that would be wonderful i feel very honored and blessed and i'm very grateful as well to all our listeners and um, thank you everyone and wishing you and your family yola season's greetings whatever people choose to celebrate and to all the listeners thank you thank you thank you thank you happy new year happy holidays ciao